Hi, this is Danielle Zana, and I'm going to do a response in regards to... Oh, wrong one. Um, regards to... ATM alone doesn't make anyone special. First of all, what I'm going to say is... A society doesn't know the difference between spirituality and religion. Um, spirituality is basically the focus on oneself and their relationship with the universe. In other words, the science of consciousness. And it can be theist or atheistic in a sense. Um, because atheism is one who does not believe in a deity God, gods, and so on and so forth, and then you get a, then you get the theists, because uh, sometimes I say a theist, <laughs> but it's not, but uh, it might sound like atheist, but anyway, but it, the theists um, are people who actually believe in a deity, um, a god, and so on and so forth. Now, spirituality, since spirituality is focus on oneself. Um, regardless if people are atheist or theist, um, people are really focusing on themselves. And um, where religion tends to focus out on a group of people. And often when there's a group of people, you get the dogma and enforcement, conformity and so on and so forth. But sometimes it doesn't isn't um, localized uh, within the group. Um, it tends to focus and affect politics, um, policy, um, even to the extremes of uh, like politics in the sense like with um, the LGBTI. If you got the I intersex people like myself, if you got the I, yes, you got the I, me. So, what actually means um, they, they, they tend to affect uh, and enforce themselves to the point. And then you get the where religion becomes extreme, is when it gets pretty violent when uh, warheads and weapons get involved. Um, like sometimes in the past, well, even observed today with. Um, Christian people, but not as bad as the Islamists, which they tend to go extreme. But then, if you, but then, you get the the um, the people who focus on their own focus on their own spirituality. They basically tend to share out ideas, their philosophy, and all that, but they don't enforce it on people. It's always those people who actually are religious tend to inflict and enforce other people. Um, atheism, you're right, doesn't make anybody special, but it actually proves the point that um, um, the atheists, most atheists tend to have, ex um, have extended out of the um, oh, bloody words, I get them muddled, um, they tend to actually um, have pulled themselves or, or pulled away from the, the bubble kind of thing of what religion tends to do and how it affects politics and all that. And very much so with religion is that um, religion and the monetary system is very dependent on each other um, because it's like sort of like a business in a sense um, but and also in its relationship of the belief in God because they often use the belief in God to to inflict the rules and that like if you don't do this and this and often impose threats on people who do not believe in the um, the religion and often called people infidels and all that kind of crap 
Um, but um, what I'm going to say is I've also noticed as well um, as I'm saying, um, spirituality is the focus on oneself and one's self development and self evolution of their own consciousness, which I refer to the science of consciousness. And often, if people focus on that, um, people tend to evolve, and you'll notice a particular trend outcome. Um, I actually know um, theists who are spiritual uh, but they don't tend to uh, enforce on other people however you do get a few that do because certain spiritualist um, or people not really spiritualist but people who are spiritual and have a, a connection with each other because I've, I've, I'm, I'm on many sites um, well not many sites, a few websites that are spiritually free thinking inclined and what actually um, is upsetting about what I found with the most, the well mainstream atheists those tend to follow a, uh, mainstream so they don't um, because of society not teaching them um, how to think, but what to think. Um, for example, when it was science, um, not all science is correct because most of the things is just based on theory, right? Um, for example, um, we can talk about the Higgs boson, for example. Um, it's a working virtual model but in reality they're getting different results um, with its own experiments um, for example um, accelerating other, I can't remember what particle exactly faster than the speed of light and then accelerating light faster than itself um, which actually proves that light in itself if light photons were just nothing but energy, right, they wouldn't actually be capable of accelerating, which actually um, works on the law, um, original law, of um, that light cannot travel fast in itself, therefore nothing can travel fast in the speed of light kind of thing. But it's been observed that um, that's incorrect, and since light can be accelerated faster than itself, it must possess mass. So yeah, um, even though it's very tiny, 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 and then because something possesses mass, and photons are the actually smallest known bosons and theoretically are said to have no mass according to this planet but anyway um, the thing is because they can accelerate they have mass because the acceleration is the evidence of it having mass so therefore because they have mass um, they can yeah because they have mass and something that makes up the mass is made of small particles. So the photon itself is made of small particles. Therefore, you would actually get an infinite stream of particles, not stream, um, infinite going into get smaller, smaller, smaller. You know, if you actually go to the infinitely small way, you can just shrink all the time. If you had put yourself in honey, I shrunk the kids, and you just continuously shrinking past the yeah, and past the bosons, past the photon. And you end up, you know, going smaller and smaller and smaller. So, yeah, what I'm saying, oh, my time's running out. So, yeah, um, as I mention often is, um, you are some somebody asked me for for cited information on my uh, response that spirituality is a science of consciousness. Religions tend to be conforming and contain dogma. Therefore, they are 
negative and um, affect in intellectual um, yeah, my words, you know, um, intellectual ways of I don't know. You wanna, you know what I mean? Intellectual coexistence hmm, of yeah of things. Um, where spirituality focuses on oneself, and when people are focused on each on themselves, they don't bother about affecting anybody else. Because when, because naturally, when you focus on yourself, um, uh, like you focus on yourself, not others, you tend to actually um, be more compassionate, loving, and understanding, and so on and so forth. So, and the whole thing with morals is really dumb, 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 because morality is a perception based on an individual and a particular culture, so yeah, that's what I gotta say. Uh, I had some ideas in there and uh, what I was gonna say, but obviously they slipped out. Anyway. Much love and namaste. Mm. Got my kryptonite. <laughs>